Virgil uh, brings a high IQ, and, and as you were aware, you were there for the performance. One of his fighters, Andrew Ward, was able to put up against Kovalev. Andrew Ward, I do want the rematch, but Ward is also considering retirement if the terms aren't proper and him coming back. What do you take to Ward talking retirement? I don't think he should retire. There's, there's, uh, he's got so much, so many big fights out there. He, he's the star. But, uh, but maybe he's, he's one of the fighters that's comfortable with, with, with what he's got already, and he's not, he doesn't want to be forced or pushed to do something that, that maybe he doesn't, he doesn't feel, feel right with, you know, especially the, the, the money, the terms. There's so many things out there. So, so he, he's made decent money to retire, but uh, I don't think, it's, I don't think it's a good idea because he should take advantage of it. You know, you, you, you grew into being a million dollar fighter. Why would you stop making that kind of money? You know, we've said it before with Chino Maidana when when he decided to retire, when there was so many, so much money that he could have made. But that's, those are their decisions. You know, we can't, we don't know how they feel. Maybe, maybe they, they just, you know, maybe Ward just doesn't love boxing. Maybe he just tired of it. Maybe that's the case. Maybe that's the case like Mikey was, where he was just sick of it. And Mikey, by now, he would have already retired. Maybe the whole world would have said, why would, why would Mikey retire when he's in his prime, when he's, he's already three or four division champion, making, making so much money, undefeated at 29? But maybe he just doesn't want to fight and he decides to retire. You can't blame them either. So maybe Ward is in that position right now. But me personally, I think he should, he should still make as much money as he can. You know, he's, you know, he's got kids. He'll have kids one day. You know, you want, you want the best for your kids too, for your family. You want to help out everybody in, in your family. So, you know, this is what he, what he's done for his whole life. So take advantage of it. He goes through with the retirement. Where does Kovalev go with next? What is well, there's there's, there's fights out there, you know. There, you know, light heavyweight is pretty hot right now. You know, there, there's a lot of fights out there. You know, we we ourselves have won uh, a light heavyweight that that uh, is his teammate. But in boxing, anything could happen. You know, Bozdik could fight any of those guys there. So uh, why not? Why not? And they have the same manager. And uh, and I'm sure uh, I'm sure uh, you know when it comes to negotiating, Klimas would do a great job in, in getting both what they deserve. And it would be a big fight. It would be huge. I, you know, why not? In boxing, anything could happen. Mikey looks so calm and so prepared and so focused for this fight. How much mental preparation did you actually have to do with him for this fight? Because he looks completely together. With 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 Mikey, it's so easy because Mikey already is prepared. You know, he he's not one of those fighters where we have to prepare him physically, but also mentally. He mentally, he already is prepared uh, from day one. He's already a very smart man. He already knows where he wants to go. He already knows what he wants. So there's no need for that. So actually, it's, it's pretty easy when it comes to Mikey. During, during, during the rounds and sparring, there's not much we have to say because we already know he's doing it. There's, there's uh, you know, I'm already thinking of something that I want him to, uh, to do, but he does it the round before, you know. So it, it, it's a lot easier with Mikey. Mikey's just too smart in the ring and, uh, and he also uh, prepares himself mentally. You know, he's told us before that during training camps, he already visualized, he, during, during his rest times at home, he's visualizing the fights. He already knows how the fights are going to happen. So, so that makes it a lot easier for him. What do you like about this fight? When you think about the matchup between Dehan and Mikey, what do you like as a trainer about this fight for your, for your fighter? Look, to, to be able to, to beat a champion, it's always, it's always great. And Mikey's already done it twice, you know. Mikey's not getting a a, a a a vacant title, or like like other fighters have. You know, they they wait, they wait until the title's vacant, and then their promoter brings somebody from, you know, Central America just so you could become a world champion. Because we've seen it so many times with so many great champions. You know, uh, Mikey Mikey wants to fight and be able to beat the the world champions. And and Dejan is a WBC champion. That's what what was available. So he took him. You know, Mikey's not not going after the easiest fighter out there. I think he's going after the most dangerous fighter in the division. So Mikey wants those challenges. And and this is this is probably just the, the beginning of all the challenges that he's looking for. You know, Mikey Mikey wants the biggest challenges out there. And 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 after this, everything goes well. Mikey's going after those challenges. When you look at your younger guys in the gym right now, who of your younger guys do you think that we need to be watching? Like, who's the next that's coming up out of the Garcia? God, man, you know that's that's the thing. You know, we got so many that that it's hard to to mention them. You know, but we have all our Eastern European guys in Oxford that are great. But I have I have, uh, I have uh, 
guys that are ma under my management. I got Genaro Gomez, who is sensational out of Sa uh, San Diego. I got Hector Tanahara and Joshua Franco, who are who are from uh, from San Antonio, and they're also sensational fighters. I have um, Jonathan Navarro from East LA, and I also have um, Joseph Adorno from uh, from Philadelphia. All those kids could fight, and I know that three, four years from now, those kids will be making some real noise in, 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 in boxing. You have such a, a big